Hello, this is Chris of Magoosh. And for today's video, we have a very important concept on QC, and it is focus on the concept, not the computation. This is really the backbone of quantitative comparison. You can, of course, solve for an exact solution, but that's not how the test is created. It is created to reward those who spot the concept and get it quickly and move on. And therefore, they finish the math section with lots of time remaining. So remember, think of the concept, focus on that concept, and not the computation. Boom. Here it is. Okay. What's going on here? There's a lot of numbers. We have here a circle with center O, and we have a radius 6. And so therefore, these two lines that come from the center O are equal to 6. And there's actually a triangle here, so AC is also a line. And then we see that this triangle has a 60-degree measure right there. So there's a lot going on. And then we look at the columns. Arc ABC is column A, and then in column B, we have six. And so at this point, you're, the part of your brain that wants to do the computation gets excited. Okay, let's go, we gotta solve this and figure it out. But step back from the problem. Think of the concept. What is the concept here? Well, a couple of things you wanna look at here is this triangle. If this is 60 degrees, then we know that this angle, OCA and OAC, actually have to be equal to each other because they are equal sides. And so if you have two sides that are equal, both OA and OC are radii, and that means that their opposite angles are equal. If this angle is already 60 degrees, then there's 120 left over for two equal angles, and therefore 120 divided by two is 60, so we know that's an equilateral triangle. Now that was a little bit of computation, but very, very small. We haven't tried to dive in here and actually use the formula for finding the arc of a circle. None of that. We just did some simple math to realize that this is an equilateral triangle. Now before you dive in, and this is where it gets tricky because people want to dive in and do the math, step back for a second and look what they're comparing. They're asking you to compare six, which we know is the radius, this one and this one. And because this is an equilateral triangle, we know that AC, because all sides are equal, also has to be six. And so just looking at this, which one is longer? This it's the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So that's six. AC is six. And then we go the roundabout way. Ooh, circle. We don't have to figure this out even. We don't have to figure out how long this arc is. We know it has to be larger than six, which is the straight line from A to C. And bam, that's it. We're done. We know that arc ABC has to be greater than B. Focused on the concept not the computation, and we got A, and we got it quickly, and now we can move on to the next problems. So I hope you enjoyed that video and that super cool trick, and we got more like that, actually. Check out the link in the description below, and you will see our GRE math study tips. Lots of good stuff in there. And speaking of good stuff, check out the videos to your left if you want more of the same.